I have to tell you, I know what it's like to be terrified of not knowing how you're going to pay your bills. Mm. I know what it's like not to be able to buy presents for Christmas. Mm. I've been there, mm. believe it or not. I mean, mm. You know, it's I. It's it's so frightening. It is so worrying. Mm. Life is so worrying and stressful. You don't sleep at night. You become ill. Yeah. All these different things that happen to you, yeah. and you just go downhill. Or dare I say it, they make themselves ill, you yeah. know, by certain things. And I think we all need to be aware of this and we all need to help people. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Big Chat. Uh, welcome back to, well, it's the new year still. I mean, it's obviously it's still the new year, but we did have an episode out last week, a Zoom episode out last week with the beautiful Antonia Blythe. Um, but I wanted to kickstart the new year filmed episodes um, really focusing in on mental health and looking at ways that charities, organisations, inspirational people can really help get behind community and businesses and people that need it because let's be honest Christmas is a great time of year for many but it can also be very very hard and these next few months are going to be tough for, for many many reasons so for me personally I'm dedicating the next um, three months of the big chats to talking to people that really inspire me with really worthy causes and things in the town that really need to be highlighted so that people know more about them and can give them more support. I'm a bit croaky this morning, I apologise, but I am Coco, your host for the day. And today we are talking about an amazing charity, which I've only just come to light through a fabulous friend of mine. And I should have known about it because it's been going about 30 years, which is phenomenal. And that's, that is number one, the charity number one. I mean, you can't forget that, can you? And I'm joined this morning, I'm delighted to be joined by Peter. And you might recognise this person sitting centre stage, Rosemary Schrager. Good morning. Uh, good morning. I like the centre bit so you can't see the side. It's my better <laughs> image. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Yes, um, so. Well, thank you for having us. Well, thank you. Lovely you to see know, you. this is and, and also it, Peter is a wonderful man because you're chairman, aren't yes. you, of the trust, which is very yeah, important. Which, well, it it sounds very important and formal, but it actually involves uh, lots of boring bureaucratic work behind the scenes to try to keep things going. But. Um, in my day to day job, I'm a church minister yes. and uh, I'm freed up then by my church to serve as chair of the number one community centre. And I think the number one community centre is one of Tunbridge Wells' best kept secrets. It's, mm. um, it's a wonderful charity that uh, was set up about 30 years ago by some churches, but it wasn't set up just for churches. The idea was that um, it would be a way to build community, build relationships, um, to enable people to get to know one another. And it's situated in one of the most uh, deprived estates in Tunbridge Wells. And that's immediately one of our big problems, I think, mm. because people hear the name Tunbridge Wells and think, you know, that's a wealthy, salubrious, exciting place and don't realise that there are some places that really do value assistance and support. And so it's hidden away sort of behind Sainsbury's. Um, but then um, we try to organise ourselves and provide resources, buildings, staff, cafe and make it possible for lots of different community building charities and and ventures to take place i thought yeah i, I mean i mean how did you get well in this good, race? Good, I mean, come good, on i mean good question, i mean good question. i mean this is what's gonna happen <laughs> rosemary is basically gonna take over and interview <laughs> us because yeah. this is what she does because that's that's it's her true. thing it's I, true you can't help I yourself can't, my love I can't how did you get that. involved well it's a very good question i was invited yes to be ambassador Fabulous. through someone, through their sort of marketing company. Yes. And, um, do you know, the most incredible thing was, I haven't been in Tunbridge Wells that long, as you know, but I've been here long enough to mm. know that actually the play, it's place itself, not as well as I probably should know, but certainly not when I when I went down there. Mm. I had no idea no, you too. had those sort of areas. But not only that, it was so... It was it, what they were doing was so important, and especially now. Mm. And I was, well, quite frankly, I was humbled by being asked because it's mm. something that uh, that I wanted to do at this particular moment in time. And also, I just feel it's you need to help people. And the fact was, and of course, having a cafe as well, that's really what yeah. it's all about. Yeah. Because they help people, they feed people, they... Um, help people who are basic children yeah and they these these things are important they do food banks 
everything. Mm. So basically, uh, warm, keep warm. So if they can't afford the heating, they go in there, keep warm. They have a library, they have a nursery, but this is all charity funded, yeah. every single one. Now, this takes a lot of money and this this takes a lot of sort of dedication as well. And also a lot of volunteers behind the scenes yeah. yes. actually working their little butts off yeah. to make this all happen. So you can't help but be in awe of this mm. whole charity. So it was a no-brainer. Mm. So I basically am trying in my own way to bring people in, hence telling you all about you it. Got, yeah. And that's it, you're hooked now. So, <laughs> I am hooked, I'm yes. totally hooked. And I I said, may I tell you something? I didn't know until yesterday that you have agreed to make one of your cha- one of these the charity is one of your charities for it's your go- soapbox it's, race it's going to be the rose the rosemary schrager pie cart this is now being <laughs> rosemary schrager is obviously our ambassador for the soapbox and i will am. be forever i will she really is i mean she's been down that hill more times than anyone else <laughs> But especially she, she, after a hip operation. Uh, especially after a hip operation. But we oh. had a, a pie made for Rosemary. Yes. I had a pie cart made. And that cart will raise money for yes. that charity. So, yeah, each cart raises for a second. We, we choose Hospice in the Wheel and the second charity. And they'll be raising. And then many more people can raise for you. Many more people can enter and raise money for this great cause. Because that's why we do that as well. well so it all ties in. This this is the thing. And I'm trying to get, for instance, you know, the ideal home of Offer to Store for us too which is Amazing. great so basically um you know but it's just finding people to go there for three weeks yeah. uh, while it's on yes. to be able to get in it's there and tell people it's a big commitment but it, it, you know these sort of charities are at the moment crucial they are they are crucial and so we have to do every week thing we can to help because I have to tell you, I know what it's like to be terrified of not knowing how you're going to pay your bills. Mm. I know what it's like not to be able to buy presents for Christmas. Mm. I've been there, mm. believe it or not. I'm, mm. I'm, you know, it's I, it's it's so frightening. It is so worrying. Mm. Life is so worrying and stressful. You don't sleep at night. You become ill. Yeah. All these different things happen to you. Yeah. And you just go downhill. Or, dare I say it, they make themselves ill, you know, by certain things. And I think we all need to be aware of this and we Mm. all need to help people at this time so people aren't, well, suffering. They will, but we, you know, we are a a lifeline hoping Mm. to be. So if, you know, if you want a meal, you come and have a meal. If you can't afford it, it's free. And that's exactly how we work. That's amazing. Yes, that's how we work. And I think think we have a a very big view of how we help people. So I think um, it's certainly true that uh, children are given subsidized meals, families have struggled with it. But at the same time, people need more than that. And I think there is such a thing as relational poverty. So I was really excited to hear that, um, you know, somebody wants to organize some poetry readings Mm. and we have uh, sports going on like boxing. Yeah. Uh, dancing and people who are struggling in some way in life shouldn't be deprived of those things they they are things that actually help you get on in life Mm. as well and and we try to provide a place where that can be given to people in in an affordable way and it's really exciting to see and very positive i totally agree with you Mm. and i think that's what i love so much the fact is that people feel worthwhile Mm. and they feel it builds their confidence up on every single level and also gives them an interest and you know, maybe keep them fit. So yeah. all I could say, if anybody's out there who wants to come in come to in number and one involved. and just yeah. say, get involved, please, please let us know. Yeah. Because that's what we need. Uh, just doing yoga or anything, so, anything so like organic that. organic roots, isn't there? Yes. There's so many ways that you can get involved. And then that's, that's, I mean, that's why personally I wanted to do the thing with the cart with Rosemary because, well, also because Rosemary's your ambassador. But it, it's you. a great way. We The reason the soapbox came about was to showcase charities because yes. so, there's so many that people don't know about and yes. there's so many that need help yes and it is organic it's organic growth that's yes. that's how it works yes. it's the yeah. more love you spread out there the more people and it's just such an amazing thing to mm. think that there's somewhere that people can come because there can be i find and i don't know what your thoughts are on this that there's there can be a bit of shame around that that they you know you can't afford a meal or I've been in the situation. You, you know, you and I have talked about this as friends. We have. You know, just because it looks all glossy on the outside doesn't mean that you don't mm. have the same struggles. Sometimes you have harder struggles, exactly. and you have to look all happy out as a And, and em- employment, you know, people 
people don't just want to be given a meal. A lot of people want a job. And it's yeah, hard. they want a job. How, how do you learn the they skills of actually worthwhile. going to be interviewed? So, mm. you know, over the last three years, as I've been chair at number one, I think I've seen maybe six or seven people come and work for us and then go off and get a job somewhere else. Wow. And, and of course, I'm sad to see good employees in our cafe and in our office move on. But actually, part of the point is we can be a place where people can learn a little bit about what it means mm. to come into work, have yeah. a job, and then go and get a job somewhere else. Mm. And and I think that's an invaluable sort of work being done there. Who's that lovely chap that's that's worked for you, who's worked for you for a long time? He's having an operation this week, isn't that's he? That's Bob. Yeah. Oh, Bob. yes. Hello, yeah. Bob. Hello, Bob. <laughs> Hello, Bob. You're going to be fine, Bob. You're yeah. going to be fine. Yeah. He was yeah. a bit, yes. He's, he's, on he's on having an op this week, isn't on he? On his neck, yeah. yes. But he's been with you for, what, six years? Was it six yeah. years, you and said? He, he lives just across the road on the estate. Yeah. Yes. And, um, you know, he... I, I think it's no criticism of him, but I think, you know, he would struggle to hold down a full-time yeah. job, yes, nine to five. Probably would. But, but, but we are able to employ him yes. um, and give him enough work that he's comfortable in life. Yeah. And, and he does a valuable work. He loves oh, it. Looking after the buildings, yeah. looking, closing doors. Well, he's the last up to and, leave and the yeah. first yeah. to go. And he always, yeah, yeah, always so greets me and tells me what's gone wrong and what needs fixed and make sure I sweep up the leaves and stuff. And it's great. Yeah. Aww. But also yeah. we need to acknowledge don't we but the fact is people have been very kind to us because they've bought in the cu town country yes, town that's right country. they've wow. actually yep. decorated and freshened yep. the inside up yep. but going back to what yep. you're saying about encouraging people to be involved all the team looked so happy there mm. everyone when i walked in because i genuinely yeah you know, I, I i feel quite guilty that i didn't know about it now it's no no it's, you know, it's, it's our fault know. you know we, we've spent years running it and so in a sense everybody's busy getting to know people on the estate yeah. and, and 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 i think i think coming out of covid i think there is a, a need to sort of communicate with people in a new way yeah. and i think what better way to let people know about our secret charity than yes. get people like rosemary involved yes. uh, get people like you involved and we're just very grateful for that really and yeah. Because you had that great opening yesterday, which was amazing mm. that we yeah. went to. So literally yesterday was the grand opening. So like you said, town yes, and country, that's we, what we were talking that, about. Wasn't yep. Yes, it was. <laughs> well, they sort of what, what it was just opening the cafe to a fresher spruce it up. It looked beautiful. We, yep. we still need some, by the way, we need tables and chairs. We need tables and chairs, and yes. I've got. I've, we do I've need got, tables I've, and I chairs. I do need to yep. talk to Peter about some yes. things that he's. I mentioned. Yes. Which yep. I might have a certain. Okay. Doing. Yep. So, yes, uh, okay. So. That's, that's but cool. on that, but tables and chairs, I might be able to help. And you also, I'm very keen on um trying to trying to sort the front out so we get a lovely green something in the front so it looks pretty. I'm, I'm mm. working on that. No, no, no. I'm also <laughs> working on that too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. you're talking about green, like your garden. I'm talking about garden, beautiful. Oh, getting that'd some, be lovely. Getting someone down here, that would be that good. That would be amazing to do that. A community thing, yes. That would be a really amazing thing to yes, do. Yes, That would be beautiful, yes. yeah. But it's... I'm it, talking about paint job, not Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. talking about something else. You're talking about something well, else. Well, if we all get... that's We're going to we're gonna need everything. We're going to need we'll everything, <laughs> exactly. You've got it's, a formidable team now. I well, mean, I'll got... tell you what, there's no stopping anymore. <laughs> we're, we're, getting, we're getting rid of the secrets. It's possible, of course, people won't know your listeners won't know who town yeah. and country are so town and country are the yes. the building developers that yes. own a lot of the land around the community center number one and um, they're in the middle of just uh, beginning a redevelopment of a lot of the housing which is a massive job and it's a very complicated job to try to um, update and, and freshen up housing and you know people might think that um when there's a redevelopment of a big estate, you know, the government looks after everything and sorts it all out, but they don't. <laughs> you know, the developers are struggling and fighting to do a good job. And a charity like ours, we work with them and partner with them mm. to try to look after the people who maybe have to move out of a house for a couple of years mm. uh, to try to provide for the people. And we've been very grateful for the partnership with them. They paid for and organized the re redecoration of the cafe. And, um, you know, we look at our buildings and think we need to freshen up the buildings you know put in new windows all yeah. kinds of stuff like that and it's good to have a relationship with a developer that, that can help in that way so it's always good to stop at the bottom yeah and you work your way up slowly mm. and then it becomes more exciting as things go on get developed new windows as you say new garden as i say yeah. new paintings yeah. as you say yeah. these things will happen every time yeah. it's exciting mm. if we have it all done at once yeah. you know it won't be as good but also couldn't afford it but if we do it slowly but surely and we find people who can work with us mm. that's the way to do it anyway yeah. Uh, yeah. i know it's been around for 30 years and i know i've only just come on board but Actually, what is lovely is I can see it now, see it all grow. Which oh, is absolutely. Great. I'm going to spend time with the chefs in there. Yeah, brilliant. Um, wow. brilliant. And I'll spend a couple of days going through some menus with them. 
and we're going to do that. that so we get, so cool. yes, yeah. I know. So we can get, and I have to tell you, one of the most important things about that cafe mm. got bloody good coffee. They have got really good coffee. I mean, yep. really yep. good coffee. Yep. Really yep. good coffee. Where'd you get your coffee from? I don't know where we get it from, but I know, <laughs> I know that the, uh, I know the machine that we have was just donated by a coffee shop uh, somewhere further down south near the coast that How was lovely. going out of business a few years ago, and we just happened to find that the uh, the water pipe would fit to the right place. We just shoved it in the wall and it seems to work. I think what's charming about it, you have this wonderful library, yeah. mm. which I th- I was so surprised. Mm. And it gives people the opportunity to actually, gives people the opportunity to completely... Um, just immerse themselves. Just immerse themselves. And absolutely. have a lovely time. I mean, it's the nursery, yeah. it's the book, it's the whole feeling. I mean, I have been down to that area. I've been to an exercise class um, mm. in, in the other centre. Yep. And I had friends when I was at school, at secondary school, that lived in that area. Because it's Ra- it's Ramsley. Is that the area? Particularly the Ramsley and Schofields Estate. Ramsley the, and Schofield The community centre is on the Schofields Estate. Yeah. yeah. And so I think... It's it's unless you like like Rosemary said it's tucked behind Sainsbury's mm. so you kind of it's be- behind Sainsbury's between that sort of garden centre mm. and unless yep. you've got a reason to go there yep. or you're in that community yep. but actually you know it is somewhere lovely I mean they you do knitting there I mean yep. they do knitting I'm gonna go down there and do oh a that's knitting. brilliant yeah they do knitting can I'm, I yeah can we do, do yeah, it together I'll tell I you need why. to knit. I've started making a jumper three times <laughs> and giving it back for somebody to finish because I can't cast off. Oh my gosh, I want to learn to cast off. They do off. knitting on a Thursday, so we'll How have to exciting. do a knitting. Because I said, I said I'd love to come down with my team and do a knitting and do do some socials Let's around Get your team, because, come with me. Because yeah. actually, no, that'd be no, brilliant. Okay. No, but it's true. We'll oh. go down there. We, we, we do cater for all personality types and backgrounds. Of course, <laughs> that, that, so it's it's not just knitting, it's also boxing. Yes, and I know. If you I want, love boxing You can do too. both if you want. Yeah. I love boxing. And <laughs> boxing is so good for, I have a few friends with, with young sons who are str- because you, the, the I have a 13 year old and 11 year old and they are struggling at the moment it, that that sort of age group sort of that have gone through covid it's not just the adults not just the grown ups it's the children that have gone through it as well that I, I really feel for and there's a lot of mental health yes. issues coming up in schools now yes. and those things like knitting or boxing are amazing ways to get energy out of you know we we yep. share a, a mutual um sons that are interested in fencing yep. and anything like that that can en- energetically move people and get them yes. out of their heads is really yep. really good so the yes. fact that you do things like that like your suggestion of yoga i've already thought of two people that will probably be up seriously for that. you've got jamie cook obviously came down didn't she yes, at the beginning she, yes. she came down so jamie cook's amazing mm. sbn studios and she's now DJ. i mean it will grow yep. Yes. With, with growth. Who else is on the chair with you, Peter? Who else does that? You've well, well got... n- none of us is, none of the trustee, none of us trustees. as trustees are sort of, um, you know, particularly well-known local names, but... Um, oh, you will we be do... now. Well, dear. Right, well, we don't want that. Now, but um, we're, we're very, de- we're very appreciative of... Uh, the They'll de- be asking for selfies before long. <laughs> Um, our, our deputy chair, Stuart Anderson, is quite well known in Tunbridge, Wales, and he's he's involved in doing um, artwork and has yeah. a very very successful yes. Instagram business. Yes. And um, you know he clearly has a great love of Tunbridge, Wales. Lived mm-hmm. here many years. Very well known in the town. Um, and I think yeah, I mean the trustees. And his name is Stuart Anderson. Stuart and Anderson. I think for I, those I, listening. I, I, I'm not on Instagram. I don't think I'm on unless I'm on accidentally somehow. But I think if you. <laughs> If you, you can if, find you, if, you, if you search him on we'll Instagram. We'll drop him a little link down yeah. below. We'll drop yes. him a little link. And you can, you can yes. see his pictures in the cafe wall, actually. Really he's good. Really good. Yes. Really good art. Yeah. Yes, he's actually got one of the pantiles with uh, where mm. where he's, my cafe was. Yes. 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 Which is, uh, I sort of turned my head rather quickly. <laughs> But it's a nice picture of the Pantiles. It's a very nice picture of the Pantiles. Nice yes, the absolutely. Pantiles. So yeah. you've got lots of plans. So you, I mean, now, I mean, now, obviously, you've got Rosemary, and um, I yep. mean, I know Ritu is helping Rosemary with, which is great. Who's going to help with the PR? And she's doing an amazing job. You, you mm. really, I mean, you had a piece in So Tumbridge Wells, which was nice to see. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, we love So Tumbridge Wells and TW that Times. They'll be supporting yep. you, I'm sure, with lots and yep. lots of things. Who else is we've, getting we've ju- involved? We've, we've just refreshed our website, so that's Brilliant. a good way for people to click into the website. Yeah. Um, if you want to see what's going on, um, you can donate through the website, Brilliant. a small or large amount. Um, if you'd like to speak to me, you can get in touch with me through the website. Yeah. Um, we have had people offer services, offer things to put on for the local community. 
Um, and that can be a, a mutually beneficial relationship. Yes. You, can, you can put on an event um, using our buildings and resources, and that can be helpful to let, let people know what you do as well. And exactly. Can I tell you, as, as, um, as a location, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. It is, it yep. is um, you could dress it up beautifully. It's a and lot it's, of space. It's actually a big space. It is a lot mm-hmm. of space. I mean, yep. really. Yep. So We've got a cafe area, you sports know, hall. Yeah. People have wanted to do things themselves. So the you sports know. hall is part of all of that as well. Yep, yep. The, wow. You can rent it. Yes, yes. So we Because that's where I did that's where I did an exercise class with Sarah Dominic. Little shout out to her. Yeah. But yeah, I So did we one there. so that, that that sports hall is um the bookings are done through our our full time staff. Yeah. Um and um that's that's a basketball you know, small a smaller yeah. smaller than full size basketball court size sports hall amazing yeah, yeah. It's, it's so that's really where the good. boxing takes place as well yes. is it yes yes and that's where i mean i mean dancing is a good space. Yeah. yeah yeah absolutely yeah uh, children's parties again like you know, if you live on that estate or you live in that part of tunbridge wales there's not many options but where to have a children's party or a fat you know some people are really struggling for space or yeah. even heating you know mm. a big just a couple of weeks ago a uh, family had a big family reunion where they rented the hall and oh, you know family came from all around the country and indeed other countries yeah and they just rented a lot for the afternoon put on music food and costs very little but we're building family cohesiveness oh that's that. amazing which is wonderful yeah. but that's why i want to get the outside done yes yes so i want to get it so it's really appealing and attractive mm. oh, yeah. you're doing an amazing job I yeah mean, i think that would be amazing at, home, at your place just like a little magical she'll make it all magical <laughs> yeah it's magical everything is wonderful magical. you go into rosemary space and it's just like being in fairyland i was just like <laughs> i was like that. Oh, oh oh look at that look at that, no, look at that. It's but that's what space. you want but you want yeah. it to feel what it you know that's mm. what i always hope with things that i do is that it emanates mm. me and how i feel and mm. that people get that that vibe mm. and i think you need the support of other people as rosemary said to get involved and help you because resources yep. are tough and there are lots of people that want to do that there are lots of people that will want yep. to help now they know about you yep. um and i mean yeah we'll be working lots with you over the next few months definitely with with the soapbox Thank and you. getting this out there Thank you. I, anything rosemary does i always want to support heavily so you know, we, we. I mean, I'm just trying to think. I can think of loads of things that could yeah. be great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I look forward to hearing from but, some of your but, listeners. But, but yeah. also, yeah. what yeah. I mean, also, I would like to reiterate as well, is that any donations, if you can't yes. do anything, mm. a pound, anything, yep. exactly. just you know, any amount, uh, the little pennies are so That's important. Right. That's they right. are, and that can all be done. Yes. We, we've we've worked hard behind the scenes to get the website set up to make that possible. So if you so go you to our website, donations. you can make a donation through the uh, website. Yeah. Many, I mean, this has been a fabulous chat. We've been all over the place. So we've obviously got that community space, like you say, it can be used for a lot of different things. But then there are other things that are vital, like the preschool. Yeah. I mean, preschool for children is something I remember, my little ones, um, is vital for people that need to work. And in yep. that, you know, and we all need to work. I mean, let's yep. face it, the cost of living is going up. Yep. We all need to go to work. Preschools are vital for parents. Yep. And you provide one, don't you, at yep. Studio One? So many years ago, we tried to organise a preschool that we ran ourselves directly. Yep. And, and it was just too difficult. The skills needed are, mm. are too specialised. Mm. So we, we found a, a wonderful uh, preschool, that um, Little Learning Tree. And yes. They run a preschool and we basically provide them a large amount of space, a dedicated Amazing. section of our building and rooms. And we've just had them uh, part of it redecorated, yep. town and country help with that. And basically that preschool wouldn't be able to run and operate without us, number one, charity, underwriting their business and Good providing a lot of their resources, the buildings for effectively at, at, at very low cost. Now, um, it's not just that it's a preschool and it's nice to have kids meeting one another and stuff. Um, this is a key way for our charity to get to know families mm. on the estate who, mm. who who we then go on to help and support in lots of other ways. I bet, yeah. Um, so it becomes sort of a gateway into relationship and, and support. Yeah. Um, so I do think we are actually looking for significant donations because without... Um, large amounts of money um in or, in order to provide the buildings and the resources that they need it, it, we won't see that preschool continue to be there in in six months eight months and then it, there won't valuable. be a community space that's available and there won't be a cafeteria where people can go and there won't be anywhere we can knit and there won't be anywhere we can drink coffee mm. i mean that's important this is why <laughs> at the moment it's absolutely paramount yeah that this has been going for 30 years we've now got we've got to move forward now but yeah. to move forward we really do need help yeah you need mm. to, you need to have and some help. this is what we're doing yeah. and so and 
that as you've just said there's so mm. many facilities oh. within this within this um area mm. it, it it's it would be almost criminal it's, to, it's like if you're yeah. popping you know if you're popping down that area if you're up down that in area of town why not pop in and support the charity yeah. by buying a cup of coffee and yeah. having yeah. some cake yeah. or going onto the website and just doing a regular donation yeah. i mean i regularly donate to charities and yes. i do lots of charity work yeah. yes I agree. it's the best it's the best feeling yes. in the world to know yes. that you're helping yeah. it really is yeah. can i just say everything's homemade uh, is it really yeah. mm. everything's homemade. everything's homemade that's beautiful. I mean, it really is phenomenal. That's be- I mean, that's yeah. just a beautiful thing. To, without getting into costs, because costs, you know, but Rosemary and I have been f- quite frank in the past about the soapbox. I mean, the soapbox, mm. people think it's just a few bales of hay and, mm. you know, oh, oh, it's, I mean, it only costs a few quid to put it on. And I'm like, no, oh. it actually costs about £80,000 to put mm. on that event. It's a yeah, lot of money. Lot yeah. of so money. these running costs are important that people know about that. It is yeah. vital that people know that you do need support. Mm-hmm. Yes. What, what are the sort of roughly running costs that you need on a monthly basis, would you would you say? Well, I think the um, the monthly running costs are running into the thousands of pounds. So you need and really people to get behind you on this. Yeah, and I think, I think the, the monthly running costs are not the biggest challenge is also the need to sort of ongoing refurbish and building. Yeah. you know and yeah. there are windows that are not currently double glazed and should be yes and we had that costed that's 14 to fifteen thousand pounds you know and that that kind of big project matters you do that kind of thing in order to um enable all the other stuff to run yeah. this year uh, we really do need about two hundred thousand pounds two hundred thousand okay and in years gone by a lot of this stuff you see was provided through taxation through the council yeah that was changing a lot over the last decade. And mm. as we've come out of COVID, yeah. um, I think a charity like ours is doing a lot of work that really people oh. would have thought was done by other agencies. I yes, so, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right, because we're in a situation now mm. where we are delivering things that mm. actually the local council can't deliver. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they had the government, they can't. So we are actually, the charity mm. is actually taking, it's filling a hole. Mm. Like, yeah. It is actually filling a hole and it's making possible for people to move on mm. and yeah. work, and that's what it's all about. Do you have, like, um, I'm just thinking out loud, like almost like a shopping list of things that you need, like double glazing? And Because yep. obviously £200,000 is £200,000, that's yep. a lot of money, but equally... There may be companies out there that watch this yes. and say, well, we'd love to do the double glazing and get more yes, yes, projects. Yes, yes. And yes. when yep. we've had Nourish Food Bank on before, you know, they always have their shopping list because everyone always gives them certain items and they're like, yep. actually, that's not what we need. Yep. There could be some things that bring that cost down. Is it? Oh, is yeah, a, absolutely. And so where the, would they find that? Well, where the, would they find that? The, the best thing people can do is go on our website, yeah. which is number one community.org, yeah. number one community.org. And um, you can get in touch with me through that. Yeah. Um, and I can talk with people or put you in touch with Stuart or Deputy yeah. Chair. Who's, yeah. He's got a professional background in Brilliant. buildings. Um, and we've done surveys of the buildings to work out what we need. So we're, we're very we're very aware of our needs. Brilliant. And we value the, the big business companies that want to help, mm. the local companies that want to help, and the people that want to give small donations. All of that is part of actually not just helping our charity serve the community, mm but actually bringing the community together in Tunbridge Wells. Yeah. And the other thing I think I can say safely is that we have a lot of, within the community, there are a lot of helpers. Yeah. Mm. So it's, it, you know, if ever, anybody was able to help and they didn't have enough workers, we could actually help with yeah. that as yeah, well. People would absolutely. volunteer. And that's actually because that's it's funny amazing. in itself. So it, it's yeah, it's terribly it's, important. It's really, Im- I'm, I, I'm excited for you. I'm excited yeah. Yeah, for you Yeah, it's a, for it's this a year. very exciting thing to be involved in and uh, we do see people's lives yes. being changed. Yeah. But we do have to be practical. Mm. Yeah. It is hard work. It is. And it is, it is a, it's a matter of not just, this is a moment, it's a slog on, on, yeah. on. It's like anything. Yeah. Anything that becomes sort of, you know, soapbox stage, you yeah. just got to keep going, push, yeah. push, push, push. You do. And, um, and get um, you know, and get people, get people to go in yes. and get involved. And like we mm. say, if there's more people that know about it, I more will. people come up with ideas, more yes. people can get involved, more people might make yep. things for yeah, you. Yeah. I mean, there's yep. all sorts of things. Isn't there? I really do need. Would be wonderful to have some nice tables and chairs. Yep, new tables, tables and chairs right. for the cafe. Tables and chairs. Really, yep. If anybody's out for the, there, could bring some chairs. tables and chairs. I would be so how many ta- happy. How many tables and chairs are we talking about? Oh, I don't know. How many are we talking about? Ten to fifteen. Yes. Ten to I think, fifteen I think tables or chairs. Tables and then, and then chairs. chairs. 
I think I think I think with a cafe yeah. area. I'll give it some thought. I might be able to. Yeah, magic so up I mean, you know, we, is there a company that <laughs> makes these out tables there? and chairs? Out. Funnily enough, I do know a company that makes tables and chairs. I might be able to mm. speak to. For I think you want so. something that works for a cafe, but then it can also be moved aside so yes. you yes. can have some other little event in there. And that's a good idea. That's so it's practical of, as well. See, I love. Do you know? I got really excited yesterday. Yeah. I love. The, when we when I went to sort of I opened it for you, yeah. but I loved it, and I said to you, look at that! It was this play, so the parents, yeah. so the yeah. so the young mums mm. could have a lovely conversation, yeah. you know, gassing away, yeah. and the children were safe on yeah. that play thing and the yeah. having a ball, and they were that's you know, a very good clowns. point actually. And also, I have to say mm. that pre nursery mm. is wonderful. Yeah, they're yeah. beautiful. This little learn, oh, little learning tree. Oh my gosh, it's a learning tree. Yeah. Oh. It's a beautiful nursery. Yeah. but that, And that is a very important point that you've just made there about the fact that it is the way that it's set up on that forecourt. Mm. It is very safe. When you are mm. a parent and you've got youngsters, oh, very. It is, you're so multitasking, aren't you, where you're looking mm. after your little one and you, you want to have a sit down, you want to have a chat. But actually, as you said there, you've got all that space there. Yeah. And it's so good to talk. I mean, that's the thing, is for community to talk to each other. It's what it's all about. It's what it's all about. Yep. can take so and, many problems away but to also, talk about them. But also the other thing, the old people come in and uh, they're so proud. Yes, and I've had stories where they're embarrassed that they can't actually afford any food or a cup of mm. coffee or they come in. And what they do is they sit them down and they literally feed them and give them a drink and you know i've heard stories they're very where, savvy your still your team there and, I, very, I noticed, and they literally yeah. and they don't make it embarrassing yeah it's just happens yeah and i think that's that's yep. really special because some of the older people it is traumatic for them when they mm. find they can't heat their house or yes. they, or they yep. can't afford to buy any food which is happening at the moment and and they're embarrassed and it's yep. pride you know yep. and um they're proud people so this opportunity and your wonderful volunteers yep, see it they're great. Thank you every volunteers. time. Yep, yep. See it every time. I mean, when I had a conversation with them, I couldn't believe what they were telling me. Yep. I mean, seriously, I was, as again, in awe of them because yep. they're magnificent people. Yeah. Magnificent yeah, we're, people. We're very grateful. We, you can't run a charity like this without volunteers. No, in the community. no. Yeah. I, I just think it's, I think it's brilliant. You have a, Big chat, chatty hatter, full support. We will be supporting Thank you. you. Thank you. Backing you up and I will, you know, get my thinking cap on about tables and chairs and some events and be chatting away to Rita and Rosemary's team Brilliant. and Rosemary, I'm sure. I mean, the fact that Rosemary's going to cook there for a couple of days. I mean, I know. It's exciting. That's very yeah. exciting. I mean, when that date comes out, I want to know what date that is, please. <laughs> and knitting. Knitting with Rosemary. Yep. Uh, do you know? But you're knitting going, with you're Rosemary. You're going to laugh because I always compare. Well, okay, I can cook, but I can't knit. <laughs> well, I can't what, cook or knit. I can't. I can't. <laughs> We, we, no, num, number one will help upskill you. To yeah, exactly. well, that's upskill that's the way we're upskilling. But, the do you know, I'd everything. love to just finish a sleeve or a jumper. <laughs> I would love to just at least just finish something. Or you could, I don't well, you know. could, maybe you should start with a, a little knitted red lip for your microphone to go yes. with them. Well, that would be cool. Start small. You yeah. could do something. Or you could have a pie. How would I do no, that? you could I have a pie. Be, I wouldn't be up to... I can... No, me knitting <laughs> my pie, one of my pies. Look, you... I, I could get the, uh, the the ninja yarn bomber who does uh you know secret does she does the pieces on the um post boxes that you might have oh, seen. Yeah. She yeah, supports yeah. the charity, Brilliant. she supports yeah. Pickering. I'm sure she might do something for Steve. Or he. She fun. or he, sorry. <laughs> she or <laughs> he. But she kindly do or he donated my lips. And um I'm sure we could get some sort of pie for Rosemary, but certainly I'm sure we could get some sort of knitting done to put the awareness around Brilliant. about the cafe. Nice. Because again, that all would those be things, very great fun. That it? would be great yep. fun. All, all the best pies, nuggets come out at the my end. My pies are out, by the way, yes. That, do, can but we We'll we talk are about talking it. about the pies. I'm getting you on with the pies. The pies are going to be everywhere. <laughs> we are having a big chat about the pies. Yeah. And we will have a, pie. Today, though. We'll have a pie mic for her. We'll have a pie mic. We'll we do could, the pies. I, I'll, yeah. I'll even get you something special for the next time you come on Thank to talk you. about Studio oh, One. Thank you. I've, I've already got it in mind. Great. What I'm, what I'm I won't ask you. what it is. <laughs> she, she's a cool person, this a one. Tie. A tie. A tie. A top a tie. hat. <laughs> a top hat. I would love a top hat. I would I would love a top hat. My logo is actually a top hat in honor of my grandma. No, no one knows that with a speech bubble on it but it's the top of a top hat, really so 
Yeah. I think that's straight fun. Yeah, she used to pretend to pull the magic out of there for me. <laughs> grandma Love. Kit. Oh, Grandma she, Kit, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm Thank so you. excited. Yesterday, I'm sure we'll get amazing coverage. Everyone should check out. This is going to come out on Friday. So Wonderful. Um, everyone that's should it. check out So Magazine because you've got a big article in there. It's got lots of information about what you guys are up to, what you're going to be doing. And the main thing is, is that they get to the website, they get in touch. That's right. Um, and just, just keep an eye on what's happening. And it, anywhere Rosemary goes, there's magic gold dust. Absolutely. So you, you've got a fantastic ambassador there. We're very grateful. I can vouch for that. Yeah. And, you know, thank you for you for doing what you do and for what Stuart yeah. does. Because keeping something going for 30 years is a testament to itself. It really is. And that's a passion. And without people like you that do that, it, it just doesn't happen. You know, it just thank doesn't you. happen. Thank you. So, yeah, I agree. Thank you with to that. everybody. Thank you. Seriously, thank you very much. Yeah, and thank um, th- and thank you for having us on. Well, thanks. I'm. A, I mean, it's That's a bit okay. chilly, but yeah, it is a bit chilly. It's, I know, it's getting a bit can't chilly. Can't you fall the eating, darling? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I can't. <laughs> no, I, I really, really can't. To be fair, but um, I do know a place that I, I could pop to down to you. and have a nice cup of coffee Good. called Studio One. Yeah, yeah. So I suggest going down there and having cool. some homemade but cake. But before you stop, <laughs> I have to say, love your glasses. Thank you. Edney and Edney. Edney and Edney. Have you got a pair of Edney and Edney? Yeah, I've got my Edney and Edney. I know. I, know. I, I mean, I mine. like the way the ribbon yesterday was in, and everything, your scissors matched your Edney and Edney. Yeah, I yeah, don't you know said that, was, that. That's right. I was like, how has this worked? She's cutting the ribbon and opening. Guys, and... I have to just tell you, this is a very smart, but wonderful <laughs> um, opticians, but eyeglass where you can buy these it is. wacky, wacky <laughs> eyeglasses. Wacky? I don't know what the you're talking about. The problem was I couldn't go like Prulith. <laughs> And so I had to say to him, I had a problem there. So I had to stop myself going bright pink and bright red and bright yellow or bright this. So in the end, I said, go something a little bit more conservative. Because I may be bright in my murder mystery books. I'm taking on Prulith's persona, but I can't do it in real life. So there you go. Eddie and Eddie. <laughs> She's honestly, I think the glasses thing is so funny because I had said to my partner, uh, Gary, I'd said, please don't get... I love you, Sue Pollard. But I said, please don't get me. Let me go to Sue Pollard. And at the Christmas when I dressed up as Coco Claus and I did the Tom Swift panto, which was um, it was amazing. Beauty and the Beast. I got to interview the star, like the, all the yes, team in character. Yes. I had these red glasses that Edney and Edney had loaned me. And I went and saw a friend afterwards and he went, you do look a bit Sue Pollard. Yeah. And my, t- <laughs> <laughs> my team were just like, it's happened. But they are fabulous yeah, and they're a they great are. team. And I'm sure they'll get involved in helping you one yeah, way or great. another. Of course Wonderful. they will. Yeah, they will. we'll get something. them involved. So we'll get them. we will get lots of people to help you. But brilliant to have you on. Thanks thank for you. having us. Thank, thank you. Well, us. Thank you for sitting in the cold. You can go and get warm now. It is cold. You could, it's warmer in my home than it is here, isn't it? it? Is, yes. But thank you so much for joining us. And everyone that's listening, please, please, please get behind these guys. And there will be a Just For Giving page going up for Rosemary Cart that will be racing on June the 24th in the Soap Bait Box Race. So there will be a Just For Giving page for them yeah. as well that you can donate to as well. Thank you. So, and again, as many businesses, if you want to race in the Soap Box, you can have them as your second chosen charity. So if we get... Ten carts, you know, that's the way to do it. That's the way and to do I'm it. And I'm going down. If yeah, I exactly. Get, yeah. Rosemary's going Oh, God. I'm dreading this again. <laughs> My surgeon had a fit when I told him. <laughs> I'd just had a new hip. It was... And he'd had a fit when I said I had, I'd just gone down the uh, soapbox race. He nearly fell off his chair. And it, I was, said, <laughs> it, was, it was when you announced at the beginning when I watched the rerun and she said, I'm just saying that if anything happens to me, don't sue Nicole. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Don't sue her. It's fine. I was just like, and I just remember standing there thinking, my word, I've got two of the most precious people in my life, <laughs> Rosemary Shager and Polly from Pickering Cancer Drop-In Centre going down in carts. And uh, yeah, so, but no, it's going to be for a very worthy cause. Be very and it's worthy a cause. I will do it. No problems. I will She's do it. She's doing it for you, please. I'm doing it for Thank you. you. Um, well, don't sue me then either. Um, <laughs> and, no one's uh... going to get sued. Don't worry. No one's going to get sued. Don't worry. It's very, very it's fun. Done. It's a very sensible, safe race. Really? And still insured. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, we're all insured. It's all yeah. fine. But <laughs> it's problems. fabulous to have you on. Thank and, you. Um, yes, Thank you. Thanks and, for having uh, us. Yeah. But just you. keep thank doing you. what you're doing and we can't wait to help you more. So thank you for coming on to the big chat. Thank both you. of you. Thank and you. I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.